Okay, so today we're going to learn about volume. Here is our formula for volume, length times width times, times height. And when you look at the box, you notice automatically that there are three dimensions. It's not just a flat figure, but you can see the depth, you can see the width. So keep that in mind with volume. When you see something like these, these are called rectangular prisms. And you will be able to see that it has the width to it. Now let's fill in some of these values. Length is six, the width is four, and the height is five. Now, just depending on which way this box is turned, you might interpret this being the length. If this box was turned around and rotated, you could call this the length. This could be the width. And then you would still have the same height, but if you turn it on, the ups, on, on its end, this might be your length and this might be your height. It really doesn't matter as long as you've got three dimensions and you multiply them together. So don't get hung up on, oh, I'm confused about, well, this is the width, which is the length. It doesn't matter. Just fill in the values and multiply them. All right, so six times four is 24. And then multiply 24 times five. If you don't know what 24 times five is, we'll come down here and actually work it out. Five times four is 20, and five times two is 10, plus two is 120. Now, we're not finished because this is super important. Notice the unit is centimeters. We need centimeters added to this, but it's not just centimeters. It's because there are three dimensions. We need to put a three here for cubed. So your final answer is 120 centimeters cubed. Okay, now let's look at another example. All right, so here's another problem. Let's take a look at this one. So we see that we already have a volume of 400 and this should be inches cubed, right? But we don't know the height. Let's fill in the missing values that we know. So the volume is 400 and we have a length that is eight and we have a width that is five and we have a missing height. We don't know what that is yet, but we can go ahead and multiply the known, uh, the known numbers. Five, eight, or eight times five is 40, okay? And you can just think of it like this. 40 times what equals 400? Now this is an easy one, right? So you would know how to do that one. 40 times 10 is 400. And then you would put your 10 for your missing value of 10 inches, okay? So again, if you're given a volume, fill in what your missing values are and then figure out how what to multiply to be able to get to the volume or what's another method, you could say 400 divided by 40 equals 10 and find the missing value that way, all right? All right, so here's another example. Here's a shape. You notice that you have only two numbers instead of the three numbers, all right? Now, there's another situation that you also can have volume, and this is one in, that we would use with this situation. You have the formula base times height and this base is right here, the 20 inches squared represents the base. It's already the length and the width combined. Now notice length and width, length width, that's two. So this is two dimensions. That's why it says inches uh, squared with an inch, well, with a two over it because that's inches squared. That is already your length and width combined. So your area of the base, and you can, did you hear me say area? So area and base can be interchanged. So now we just need to multiply the 20 for your base and the height is seven. Multiply those together and we will have a volume. Okay, so multiply 20 times seven to get 140. And when you add your unit, 
make sure you put cubed because you're showing the three dimensions. Even though here's your two dimensions, now you've added that third dimension for the cubed. All right. All right, so here's another example. Let's look at this one. It says find the volume, the area equals 15 feet squared, and the height is 10 feet. So just remember that your base times height, base means area that can be interchanged. So you're just multiplying your 15 and 10, right? So 15 times 10 is 150. And then make sure that you put your feet and to, to represent your three dimensions, make sure that you have cubed. So your volume equals 150 feet cubed. Okay, so let's look at this shape. It says find the volume of a cube. Well, what do we know about a cube? We know that it has all the side lengths are the same, right? So the formula for cube is side cubed. And so fill in your values. We know that the length is five, the width is five, the height is five. And just multiply. Five times five is 25. 25 times five is 125. And then centimeters cubed. All right, so one though common error would be if this was in a multiple choice test, choice A most likely would be 15 centimeters cubed. And you know, then later on you may see the actual answer of the correct answer of 125 centimeters cubed. But 15 might trick your eye because you might think three times five, but no, you're multiplying five times five times five. So this is how you would calculate the volume of a cube. All right, so it says the cube has a volume of eight inches cubed, find the side length. So if you're given the volume, what, how could we find the side length for one side? So we gotta think really small, something times something times something. So this is side cubed. So let's fill in a value. Let's try two. Two times two times two. Two times two is four, and four times two equals eight. All right, and that works, doesn't it? So eight inches cubed. So you can think backwards if you need to try to find a side length when you're given the volume. All right, so here's a, a rectangular prism and you can see that it's cubic units. So what we'll do here is we'll fill in the values. Let's find the different lengths, widths, and heights for each particular uh, dimension. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this can be our, our length. Let's look at the width. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's get a height. You can count it here or you can count it here either way. One, two, three, four. Four is your height. All right, so fill in the values. Five times six times four. And five times six is 30. And 30 times four is 120. This could be inches. And if it is, we'll make sure that we put the unit or cubed and we're done. Okay, all right, so the very last problem we wanna to do together, the bottom layer of a rectangular prism is 12 centimeters cubed. It has five layers, what is the total volume? All right, so on this problem, you notice that it already has a volume of 12 for that base layer. And we know that there are five layers. So one way you could say is 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12, right? Five times, but a quick way to do that would just be 12 times five, which is 60, all right? And that's centimeters cubed. All right.